In this video, let's talk about haters. If you put yourself out there, you're gonna get haters. And yes, I have a hater this week. Let's talk about it. So let me give you the framing of the scenario. Now I'm a member of a Facebook group. I'm a member of many Facebook groups, but this one in particular is for the WordPress theme that I use and recommend. And I often visit this group. I only joined it just recently and I've been offering my, my two cents worth. If I can offer um, advice to someone uh, in the group, I will do so. I believe in giving um, knowledge and also if uh, people who follow this channel will know that if you, um, my, one of my strategies for business is to give knowledge Facebook groups and often you'll get work out of it. Now this particular group uh, someone asked a question that was about a video in the background of a row. So you have a row then you put a video behind it and some text in front of that. I won't get into the specifics but the person was asking how do I put a video there and I said look um, you, you need to do X, Y, and Z, follow these steps. Here's an example, and I put my website homepage as an example, which at the time had a video behind the row in the header. And um, then I get an alert on the notifications of Facebook that someone has chimed in on my uh, comment. And this person, who I won't name them, uh, they've since been deleted from the group by the admins, but this person chimed, chimed in with screenshots of my website from his mobile phone so he's viewing my website on mobile and he pointed out two kind of uh, micro errors that you know <laughs> they're so micro that they're not even worth mentioning um, but one I'm thankful that he actually pointed out the error and I went in and cleaned it up straight away but he, he, he took the time to post the screenshots on the Facebook group and chime in with hey you, you're you're motto on your website says business solutions uh, digital digital solutions for your business you are, you haven't even got a solution for your own business and he put the kind of smiley face with the tears coming out and the laughing like it was a complete ridicule of my comment my 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 effort to help someone has been ridiculed so a troll has jumped out and snapped at me for for chiming in i guess i guess he feels that he was um, more of an authority on the topic than I was and wanted to protect his domain. I guess he felt, felt that that little Facebook group was his domain and he was the boss of that domain. Uh, and this, it didn't stop at that. He went in and um, chimed in on a couple of other comments that I'd made and said, no, that's not how you should do it. This is how you should do it. Now, everyone knows that if you're trying to help someone on Facebook, you don't you don't rag out the other guy who's already tried to help. You just say, hey, maybe my two cents is maybe you should do this and this. You don't rag out someone else who's already tried to help. That's just bad form. It's just poor form. Now, this made me think of the um, audio books I've been listening to recently. And I recently consumed uh, Jocko Wilnick's, um, uh, what is it called? The, the big one, the New York Times bestseller, uh, Extreme Ownership. I recently consumed that. I'm a bit of a late come to that book that's been out for a few years now and I highly recommend it and then at the moment I'm consuming his uh, other book leadership uh, strategies and tactics I think it's called in in audiobook fashion I, I don't I don't read very well I consume all my content through uh, through video and audio but he talks about um, you know basically how to be a man how to how to how to be a man don't engage with someone who is a troll um, don't don't lower yourself to their level uh, you've got to sort of stand back and use um, uh, first principle thinking and, and, and say, you know, okay, so I can see that this person is possibly um, uh, insecure in his, in his uh, domain. He's lashing out at someone trying to help another customer. He's, he's trying to ridicule me and tear me down. He doesn't even know me. And I, I didn't engage with him. I just posted a comment to say, well, I guess, I guess you don't want any of my help with your questions. That's okay. Have a good day. To which he responded, I don't ask questions. I answer them <laughs> I he just wouldn't let it go he was just he was just searching for someone to pull down and so I thought you know what I'll do I will report this guy to the admins of the group and he was promptly removed his his um, screen his screenshots and his comments have been deleted so I can't post them here for you um, I was able to get a few of them uh, before they were deleted uh, and, and I will put them up on the video here but guys the, the moral of the story I think is you know don't Try to don't lower yourself to these uh, the standards of these trolls. Um, you know, I, I will say on, on closing that it did it did touch me a little bit. Um, my wife and I are going through a very difficult time at the moment, and 
I still take the time to try to help people every day. And if you if you're in my friends network, you'll know that I, gen I genuinely try to help people every day. Uh, I spend at least five to ten minutes every day trying to help someone, and that's become a, a part of my daily routine now. And when you try to help someone and they t and you get torn down, it does it does it does affect you. Um, I was able to bounce back pretty quick, but. It, it did hit me at a time at the moment where I'm a little bit fragile, we're going through a tough time, my wife and I, and it, it, you know, why do that? Why tear someone down? You don't know what they're going through. You, you have no idea what they're going through. Keep your hate to yourself, keep your troll comments to yourself, and uh, just try to help people. If you can't help, um, you know, if you haven't got something good to say, don't say anything at all, is the saying we have here in Australia. I don't know if you, if you guys have that saying overseas. So that's it guys, that's my rant uh, over. If you have experiences with um, uh, haters, I'd love to know how you deal with them. Uh, please comment below, how, what, what's your sort of um, default setting for dealing with haters? Um, do you engage them or do you uh, report them? What, what do you do? I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks very much, see you in the next video.